Donald Trump's moves largely won over the mainstream media, however, and marked a significant shift from his presidential campaign stance. That's left many of his supporters disappointed, as Caleb Mopin has been finding out. Remember when Donald Trump was running for president? All those bold statements? For too long, we've been moving from one reckless intervention to another. In Libya, Syria, Iraq, Iran, this destructive cycle, bad decisions. We cannot be the policemen of the world. America first. America first. Well, now Donald Trump has carried out the USA's first direct strike against the Syrian government. And in doing so, he's won over the mainstream media, the so-called fake news he despised. Overnight, retaliation from his Florida estate of passionate President Trump. We see these beautiful pictures at night. I am tempted to quote the great Leonard Cohen. I'm guided by the beauty of our weapons. What changed last night? I think... Uh, Donald Trump became president of the United States. It's not just the mainstream media. Remember his old arch rival, crooked Hillary? Well, Hillary Clinton was on TV, and she called for a strike against the air base just hours before it happened. Assad had an air force, and that air force is the cause of most of the civilian deaths. We should have, and still should, um, take out his airfields. John McCain and Lindsey Graham, some of his staunchest opponents within the Republican Party, they're now singing his praises. I think it's a good beginning. It sends a tremendously important signal. I'm glad the president did it. I want to applaud the president for taking action. Uh, it was justified. It was necessary. It was the right move. First of all, it was legal. With many of Trump's staunchest opponents now on his side, where does that leave his loyal supporters? What do they think of his sudden conversion to aggressive military intervention? Those who wanted us meddling in the Middle East voted for other candidates. I guess Trump wasn't Putin's puppet after all. He was just another deep state neocon puppet. I'm officially off the Trump train. Missiles flying, Rubio's happy, McCain ecstatic, Hillary's on board, a complete policy change in 48 hours. If we go in uh, greater force that kind of is alluded to by, uh, by his UN ambassador, uh, then I think um, he'll, uh, he'll see his support, the support base, the voters. Uh, his support deteriorate even more, and the international relations will deteriorate further. This is precisely what the deep state wanted, uh, and Trump, as he has found out, uh, uh, when up against the deep state, uh, really doesn't have any power. This is what the war industry wants. This is what the makers of the Tomahawk cruise missile wants. This is what the Pentagon wants. Uh, and this is what they got, and Trump obliged. So to the extent that he served their interests, he becomes, uh, you know, quote unquote, presidential. Why did Donald Trump suddenly make peace with an establishment that he's always raged against? With a president capable of such an aggressive U-turn, it may be impossible to predict what comes next. Caleb Maupin, RT, New York.